Thanks for joining us for this episode of After Dark. Uh, also, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll uh, get back to you. So, um, after giving it some thought, I realized that one, something is wrong with Tranta mentally for trusting Claudia. And two, Claudia is a total bitch. Now, let me explain why I feel this way. Here's Don't go to the next video. Let us explain. <laughs> next video. No, so, all right. Um, so Peter gives Tronto a call, and he sees that his son, who'd been missing for thirty-three years, is dead. Not only dead, horribly mutilated, um, right there in two thousand nineteen. And then Claudia just shows up out of nowhere, like, okay, let me tell you what's going on, and then we gotta put your son where he's gonna be found. My first question would have been like, bitch. You've known where my son was all this time. You only show up now when it's convenient for you. I've sat around 33 years not knowing where the hell my son is or what happened to him. And you've known and done absolutely nothing. And not only that, now you want me to drag his dead body into the woods and leave him unmarked and unburied so he can sit in the morgue unidentified until he's then cremated and then just tossed away or buried by the state and not and that's what you want me to do for my child and not before he was left out in the woods for several days where like bugs were crawling on him and bugs stuff or animals remember get to him. like when ulrich you know like moves some of the leaves off you see that so ant crawl on his face want oh. me to disrespect and desecrate his body and not acknowledge that I, you know, like I can't tell my wife. Like, what is what is wrong with you? What world are you living in? That's pretty I, cold. That that she would have gotten a, a giant two finger salute because I know this is, two finger salute for me and a backhand to the face if she tried to come up and say that stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, how can you do that to someone that you've known, you know, forever That's since pretty childhood? Bad. Like, at least the respect. To, you know what I'm saying? Like. That was just such an inappropriate thing. Like, she just shows up like, I know I've been gone a long time, but I know everything that's happening right now, and we have to dump your kid's body in the woods. What? What? Like, how do you just roll with that and be cool with it? Like... I found it surprising how quickly Tronto just agreed to it. I mean, he's... <laughs> but, like, I know they used to kick it and everything, but there's, there's not enough kicking it in the world to make me okay with something like that. Like, no, no, no. And, uh, I just, I don't understand Tronto's response in hindsight. Like, now I'm thinking about it. Like, he went along with that so easily. Um, it's bizarre to me. I still don't really fully understand why he needed to be discovered in that one spot, too. Like, that doesn't really make much sense to me. No. I, the only thing that I can think of is that... Why, why did he need to be discovered at all? Like, he'd been missing... Well, for 30, like, it was weird. Somebody's like, going to find him eventually. Well, I no, mean, they could have buried him in the grave that was meant for Mads in the first place. Like, why did he need to mm, be this? Like, what was her reason then, for then that? Yana's going to, like, find the grave disturbed, and that's going to, I mean, that's going to set off alarm bells. I think probably what it was is, I, I think probably what it was, at least this is the only thing I can think of for why they didn't leave him, like, in the cabin, is because the cabin belongs to Hilga, and so if they found the body there, everybody would suspect that it was Hilga, and Hilga right or now... Peter. Or Or Peter. And Hilga is, like, actively fighting or trying to stop Noah. So maybe that's why she didn't want him to be blamed for it because he's like the only one who knows if Noah's well, he's wrongdoing. Crazy and, in the old people's home. Like, right well, no, now. but he's still like, you know, he's, he's trying to stop Noah though. He makes it very clear that he like wants to make him stop. He marches off into the woods well, in the middle of the night. I'm going to make him stop. I can, he keeps saying like, I can change the past and the future and stuff like that. I don't know if Claudia is aware of that or not, but either way, just from Tronta's perspective, I would not listen to her on that alone. The fact that she knew, wow, forever long she knew, that she's traveling back and forth through time. Like you can't travel back and save my son. Like you, nope. I wouldn't like that. I don't have too many questions. I have too many questions as to why she didn't do more or tell me or something. And instead, let me suffer for thirty three years and not know what happened to my child. So. I, I just think that he's he's bizarre. I don't understand him at all. Also, 
why didn't she do something to like interfere with the fact that Peter found the body? Like, that's just weird. I mean, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, man. He was just, like, there trying to have some alone time, and then, like, you know, a portal opens up in front of your face, and a dead kid shoots out of it at you. Like, can you imagine how just, like, mind-fucked you would be after an experience like that? Good God. it's not, Like, every scene he's been in so far, it, it, like, he's, like, crying or, like, lying about something. He's so jacked up. He's, like, scarred for life. He's, like, never going to recover from that, which is actually kind of ironic if you think about it because he's a therapist, and th that's the person you're supposed to talk to when you have something really dark and messed up that you can't tell anybody else, <laughs> and he's the only one who has something that he literally can't tell anybody else. Mm -hmm. Oh, the irony. Poor Peter. I feel bad for him. Uh, he's just uh, a... a Man full of secrets. Yeah. And then, like, waiting for, a ha waiting for after work. Um, and then her, like, giving into it. Like, what? I mean... Well, she didn't meet up with him after work that time. He was just waiting. But and she thought about it, though. She was, like, well, struggling maybe, to say no when he was... Or maybe she just did that so he'd go away. She was like, I'll think about it. I feel like she could have very easily shut him down. I feel like she could have been like, dude, first of all, no. Second of all, your kid just disappeared, you sicko. What is wrong with you? Go back to your wife and grieve your lost child. I mean, he like she like didn't really try that hard to shut him down. He was acting like Hannah, in my opinion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and she and Claudia was acting like Ulrich. Like, uh, I'm busy. Uh, oh, I'll, 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 I'll contact you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, don't call me, I'll call you. I'm glad Ulrich wasn't acting like that. Like, he's being, saying, like, I can't do this right now. My son's missing, in case you forgot. Fucking weirdo. Yeah, something's wrong with Tranta's brain. Like, are we sure Ulrich maybe can go it, in the past and punch him, too? Maybe it runs in the Nielsen family. You know what I mean? Like, this, like, weird behavior towards women that's just inappropriate. I mean, it kind of, it shows... so much worse. I know, yeah. So much worse. Oryx is kind of like, you know, run-of-the-mill affair type thing. And plus, yeah. he's, like, having the affair before his kid disappears. Like, to strike up one right after your kid disappears well, is we just know, perverse. Well, we don't know how long it had been going on, but either way, I feel like you would have stopped doing that after your son went missing and, like, helped your wife, who's losing her, her marbles, clearly, at home and can't get off the couch just leaves your door unlocked all the time like i feel like that should be i know best. your your wife is like so crazy that she's like not only not locking the door but she's like inviting every random kid that's the same age in to try and replace mads because he's like he's gone it's like it's, it's all very screwed up what's going on anything else to say about that who didn't trust claudia that's about it that's uh that's probably sound advice um, if you guys like our content, make sure to subscribe right up here in the corner. Also, follow us on Instagram at RLRashon, and also check out the brand new blog, thelivingrashon.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Auf Wiedersehen. Ah!